Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Culture News. My name is David Sarivo, and I have the pleasure today to have over the phone the very talented artist. And I'm sure you heard the name before because I had the pleasure to have him on the air before. His name, ladies and gentlemen, is Brooklyn Knight. Let me study for you. Hello. Brooklyn at the end, I-T-E, Brooklyn Knight. He has released this amazing track, which we had the pleasure to play on iHeartRadio. The name of the track is called Metaphorical 3, the number 3 at the end, Metaphorical 3. This is a great track, which we're going to play right at the end of this interview. So please stick around with us. But right now, without any further introduction, our dear friend, the one and only Mr. Brooklyn Knight. How are you today, sir? All right, and yourself. Thank you for having me, Mr. Mr. David. Thank you, iHeartRadio, and I love the fans for supporting me in terms of the song Metaphorical 3. I love you all. I love New York. I love Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, Manhattan, Staten Island, everyone. And we love you even more. It's an honor having you today. We really, really appreciate it. So I would love to know, uh, because I know that so many great things have happened to you since. I know that uh, you are, you have a lot, uh, I would say, on the fire uh, coming up for you. But j- just tell us about the song Metaphorical 3. How that a whole song come together? Well, it began from the second version of Metaphorical where I was just having fun and the second version technically introduces my co-artist Key Raw, who is my uh, who was in the first version of the duo version. You can check that out on SoundCloud. But it introduces her, and it and it technically uh, tells the audience that this is who I am as an artist, but yet this is what I love about music since I was a kid. And uh, I fell in love with the track because the track was produced by a female producer in Philly, the melody of the track. And so I decided to do another version. And by coincidence, the co-artist, my co-artist, combined our thoughts with uh, doing doing another version, whereas my classmates decided for my co-artist and I to do a song together. And we happened to like that track. And so she introduced me to the producer. Um, And I would have to say that she's following in the footsteps of Spinderella of Salt and Pepper because I heard that Salt and Pepper was a producer. So I said, well, what it would be like to have a Philadelphian female producer to have the opportunity to have her name out there as a freelancer. So I just said, well, I'm going to do another version. And I think the other version would be a little bit better. And then, with the third version, it was supposed to be for the co-artist, Key, uh, Key Raw, but then I decided one. I, I decided to do it the third version, and the third version's message was the overall perspective of not giving up in life. It's a whole lot more and a whole lot more deep with the topic of metaphorical three because it's like four different topics, but it's for the family, like a family gathering of a nationwide family gathering for everyone to figure out. So it's like a puzzle. It is the puzzle, but um, when all of that, all of these pieces, they come together as a single picture, it is really a blessing for our ears. I want you to know that it is really, really so nice to hear your music and so refreshing I want you guys to know that this music can be purchased on Amazon.com, but also on iTunes Store and Play Store, Google Play Store, and many other uh, platforms. So can you tell us why the choosing the name of the track called Metaphorical 3? So 3, we understood why, but why Metaphorical? Well, Metaphorical was a history of how songs were. It was always the message of what was behind what we were influenced of as artists. We had a a, a story within ourselves where it was nothing but blues. And then the blues turned into a story. Like it's, it's basically how grandma always had the song that she had for herself. And it was not only grandma, it was grandfather, your grandfather too. And so the story 
came off from a from from like blues. So in 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 levels of the internal message behind the 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 metaphor, the metaphor with metaphorical three was technically a definition of hyper, of a hyperbole, uh, hyperbole is what I'm supposed to say. Um, and uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that word correctly. But it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a it's a it's a uh, it's 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 a definition of of that form of metaphor metaphors. So when you define that 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 definition, technically the metaphors is exaggerated a little bit. But there's there's a key thing into the song to have people to understand. You never give up in life because when my co artist wanted to do wanted to wrap up her semester in, in school. My my goal was to keep going because that was my pattern in life as a kid when I was 11 years old. I've been I've been doing music since I was a kid, and and my pattern was to just keep walking. Don't let anyone stop you, and that's what I encourage everyone to do. You keep the song is is meant to motivate and exercise your mind to say don't ever give up. And there's a whole lot more to that, but technically it means. The definition of not giving up in some form. It also means if someone captures it, it also means not to be stood up. It also means don't tolerate any contradictions. It's all in there. It's all in, into what I'm sound, tell, telling everyone. So it's a reactional song overall. Metaphorical three is a reactional song in terms of the metaphors of what we experience in life. So this is a song that's supposed to be meant for a family gathering where they can all come together and sing along with their songs. So, and, and also back then, I also grew up around the public where they said that they miss how we that they used to snap their fingers and they was to, they would sing a song and there would be a message behind the song. So I've been, you know, I grew up hearing that so many times, and I just said, well, you know what? I'll give them something when the time is right, and. Everything in that song defines everything of what history was about, of what the parents wanted in music, and that was to snap your fingers, the elements of a good beat, good good track, you have a good melody, and then what's new about it and is, is very original, and then you have an, an, an individual that we hardly see in today's society, especially with the kids that, that tend to give up in life. You have a female producer from Philly, who loves what she do, have a passion for what she do. And then it was to a point where uh, you had other producers that was disregarding her skill, her disregarding what she was doing when she was a kid. Now, she did this track, this melody, when she was a kid. And so when I received the negative feedback about the uh, metaphorical track, I flipped it into something else to say, well, you can't say that because I see something in this track that no one else no one else sees or no one else views. So in 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 most ways um the same potential that I saw in my co-artist Key, Key Raw, her real name is Kiana, is the same potential that I saw in the producer whereas I wanted to throw my b- belief in them to say that they got something. And I didn't want to give up on uh the idea of what I had for the song. And and I have I plan on doing more songs, but there's no telling what what God would where uh where, where He would lead me because God always treats me right and yeah and, <laughs> and no, he does good, he definitely path. does and and through your music He is also treating us right you know uh, I just is, like to say this also I want to thank everyone for positioning Metaphorical Three Multi Platinum. So it, it ended up being 5 million downloads under the mixtape thanks to Wu-Tang Clan, the legendary Wu-Tang Clan of all of the uh, the major crew. Um, I, I, I don't want to go in, in deep with the names because there's so many of them, but you have Capadonna, and then you have Bobby, Di- Bobby Digital, who was the leader and the uh, founder of the group, and then you have Raekwon, which is who I met years ago, and um, who, who was one of my encouraging uh, legendary artists who had a you know word in Ezra to tell me to keep going in some form, but I'm, he's not going to remember all that. He meets so many people. Then you have Method Man, and then you have uh, 
Killer Priest, and then there's so many names. It just keeps going on and on. And then you have uh, Jizza, Rizza. It's just, it's just like it, it just keeps going. So, and, but I'm, but, I had but, but the he, opportunity he, to thank them yesterday, yeah. and, and, they, and they, they had a concert yesterday in Philly, and I had the opportunity to thank them. And then the person that hosted the mixtape, because it's in the mixtape, WooInvasion.com mixtape. I thank the DJ, DJ Symphony, who's in who's uh in charge of that. Um, his real name is Symphony, by the way. But uh, I thank him for I thank the whole team for accepting the song because it dropped twice. Um, it, it 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 dropped uh on Fourth of July and then it but they they had to come up with a uh no they picked it up Fourth of July but they had to come up with a plan to drop it which came out on Halloween and not in a matter of weeks it came out it, it, it positioned platinum and then about a few weeks after that it was multi platinum which was five million downloads but I thank the legendary uh, artist Wu Tang Clan for their team effort because it's all about working as a team also. And that's one of the things that they taught me in high school and with their music, whereas they all came together as a team. So I credit them for, uh, number one, trying, throwing effort. It's all in there. When you, do, when, you, when you work as a team, it's about the same as what you apply at work. You put that effort into doing a job, and whether the job is finished or not, you come back to complete the, 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 the job of what you, what you are trained to do. And and I learned a lot of that from Wu Tang, and then I, you know, you try to do an establishment, but yet you try to meet the individual who placed that same effort. Now you're not. It's, this is not a perfect world out there, and people are not perfect where they're not used to doing efforts. But me, I saw only potential, and the effort comes around with the the being used to uh, practice. If you if you have that practice and you throw your mind into it, there's there's the result of what's going to happen. You're going to have a, an award winning of 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 uh, a reward, a plaque. And I, I thank the fans for supporting so for supporting the song, and I'm, I thank them for understanding the song. And I'm I will be creating more songs, no doubt. But it's just a matter of will they pick it up. <laughs> but they can find it on yeah. uh, iTunes Store. They can find uh, some of my my other songs on SoundCloud.com. They can go to Amazon.com, and they can go to Spotify, and uh, they can go into the Play Store under Music if they wish to find the song. And and of course, you know, we say hello to uh, Wu Tang, and we say hello, of course, to all your fans who have definitely supported uh, righteously your uh, your music uh, yes multi platinum uh, thanks to all the wonderful fans uh, please yes. purchase these uh, I great, want to stress great, this great, out great one more time Mr. David I want to stress this out one more time I want to thank the fans deeply because if it wasn't for them the song would never be where it is right now and my goal was to reach out to the minds of those who were were just lost in hip hop and it was just a restore of what hip hop really is. It was to say, look, yeah, the music is still there. We have people out there that still have it. You know what I'm saying? People out hip hop is not dead. It's just a matter of you, you, you take the time out to listen for a change. You know what I'm saying? And it's there, you understand? Know it's just a, it's how you how you turn it to gold. You know, yeah. you can have that seed and then you flip it to gold. And I, I just totally wanted to let the fans agree. know that I was doing my homework. That's all. I was doing my homework. And I expect the other artists, upcoming artists, to do the same thing. You understand? To step yeah. up in their game and, to, and and not to let the mothers and the fathers drift off in the music. You know, they have to step up. You understand? So, you yeah, know, I thank the absolutely. fans again, man. I absolutely agree with you. So, what is next for you before we start to say goodbye to each other? Okay. What is what are your next projects? Okay, well then, you know, I, like I said, I'm still working on my album. Um, it's called Mind Fits Venture, revised, and um, it, it, it's it's going to take a minute because you know everyone has to work, everyone has to pay their bills, and then my producers got to get paid, you know, in the order of how it goes, you know, and it's it's it's, it's like you know that that's the order and that's the proper channels I have to follow. So it's going to take some time, but I'm working on it every day. I'm working on it, but the next song for the fans to look out for, I've decided to put out 
vitamin leverage. So the intention of that song is, is just what comes into the title. The intention of the song is how we intake our vitamins. And therefore, when you intake the vitamins, it digests whatever goes on in your body, like the, 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 your body intakes the vitamin and so forth, where it gives you some sort of like a healthy state of mind, so to speak. You know how vitamins react to your body. So that's the same scenario that you apply to my verses. It's that simple. And then the verses technically levels you to uh, uh, to the point of you being straightforward in your mind to say, okay, I understand. <laughs> So wow. it's, it's the balance of that. Uh-huh. That's what, that's it. It's just the balance of that. It's just one big hype. You know what I'm saying? So yes, I just sir. I just explode with the song. Yes, and we love that explosion. Talking about the, of explosion, now we are going to listen to this great track called Metaphorical Three. Ladies Thank and you for having my me, name is David Cerrero. I had the pleasure to have today on iHeartRadio the very talented artist. Brooklyn Knight, please purchase his music on all stores, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play under the music section, of course. But right now, enough of talking. Let's play the music first, as always, on iHeartRadio. Metaphorical 3, more music to come. Gather around. Because it's too black and white. Brooklyn night, have to tell it like it is. This further insight. Got my fans saying about the set off spice. Representing food far from the rights. A set of credit embedded by his own tune satellite. Feature nice setting off my rise. Stay with me because I'm back. I became the ignite. Hip hop, there's no demise. Keeping my composure right. It's how my flesh runs. Elevating my neck vein flights. Inflate to a range. Change course my coordination. Staying on course. The existing flight nation laying on air to blaze board third. So you could say I'm there, I, the fire burns, burns reversely. The spark is inside out, who can touch me now? How I'm able to converse my sound for thee to plow further sword because it didn't even need the cable breaking from the heavy pounds of my preaching degree to the table, song flew, and take the note, the quote, and that you don't even know what he's capable of doing, end quote. Now here's my token under the umbrella tote and the mind being stable, that the pour of the syrup of that flavor of that maple, I am eating that breakfast next to the stable don't use it this is only a small piece of my song fused with before you might be able to be the one to be through with it answering to a call of how we all became the same and how we became to be amused with it how the congregation kept on waiting sitting in the pew the few rose jews are in the fifth with a gift and how the steeple has bodied the position to what we call being bruised with it and so i kept on being growing just a bit more i lose hard the way for the score if i so much as think they even touch an award then let that be or will be before so here's how i crawl to the top and here we go from top to the floor broken terms down then carried to the door but now i'm here to please channel yourself to being at ease therefore the lyrical disease just got struck in it didn't know me guess what it got tucked in see how we got sucked in it's like two fingers to the category of being plucked in gather the chairs together then buckle in sit there then rest your mind to chuckle in don't mind me don't like me well then be free huckle the berry then you can figure you could swim with the fin metaphorical 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 have to slice your brain apart you already walked into my corridor hard giving you more metaphors tickling me for starts while you have your last laugh my wrath is set to be destined and more you depart now my guard is up i become abrupt while i level you the generation continues telling me to hurry up and now to be up and about because they knew i've been laid my cards by the cups for verbal sprouts to be equal and so i stuff myself cipher into my brain please for this title to be a sequel just as expressed to me to speak full i remain to be cool i taste the feed the transform to what's been wasted the term cruel i meet me you'll be able forth to tell how we take the heat by the mule and so our terminology to face it became worse now it's my tool the replacement me i've been embraced it i agree now we into my 
PlayStation version 3 to take it to pace it. Disregard song 2, and so I lace it. MIC, double check me to further ace it. While being befriended, debated, turning blue. NITE, the icy created. My pal, the C. U, F O R, G O T. My title pick, removing the B. Makes my song to be it. So legit, the metaphoric calls me myself. I fit. I don't history to quit. I spit. There'll be no contradict. Since you did not budget, don't budge me to walk into my fist. Brooklyn night has been lit. Listen for a bit. Been so hungry for this third round. You heard? I'm in town. Grounds. My name bound. Foot down. I am pro per. The cause to the now. Try fooling me. Never will I frown. Back at you. See my result. Go round circles. Then make more sound. Forcing the thug to guess what? Not trying to track you. Take pretend the facts to my foul. Stacks by the mile. I'm at you. Then title the song or call me to capture. Being the frat by gamma. This is why. My name not here, so I have some manners. At the same time, the president's name is not even Obama. Don't catch the a master, Aladdin. I tried patting her, but the fish is placed her back then. The mama disappeared, then I reappear while piranha snatch ya. To them, what matters didn't but satin that they haven't been back yet, and that they were continuing to do in the pain. The Amish bombing in Avalon in Bronx, Queens, Manhattan, of course, the island, the Staten. I'm out of reach, but never been platinum. But realize the vitamins prevented me. Yeah, being numb towards facts that I probably may not be done. Metaphorical 3, the most sound ODA sequel. My appreciation, people. Some jobs need a master, a mortgage master, with dedication, focus, and expertise. If you need results, you need someone with decades of know-how, with no distractions, no time-wasting, and no faffing around. Not a jack-of-all-trades, but the master of one. For a job as important as your mortgage, that's EBS, the Mortgage Masters. Search EBS Mortgage Masters to find out more. Lending criteria terms and conditions will apply. EBS DAC is regulated by the Central Bank of Ireland.